Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to plot multiple data sets on the same chart in R. So first of all, let's take a look at my setup here before we go and uh, draw the chart that we need. Um, I'm reading in a data file called 38 underscore data file dot csv uh, it's a fictitious uh, set of data which i have created for this video and this file uh, along with all other csv files and r scripts is available on my github a link to which you'll find in the information section underneath this video on the youtube page so the data file is um, in my files area in our studio so if i click on the data file and choose to view the file you can see I'm getting uh, uh, data on students uh, and three different professors and the grades that they're looking at there. So it's a little bit untidy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read in the data file and uh, look at the first six lines, the head of the data file. And in my console, I can see that uh, what this data file is intended to show is that we have 12 students who are taking three different classes by three different professors, and we'd like to compare the grades they've received in an assessment. So we can see grades for uh, the student, Professor Gray's subject uh, for each student, Professor Green's and Professor Brown's. And I'd like to visualize this um, on a single chart. First, let's draw the chart separately. So I'm going to draw the first one here on line nine in my code. I'm going to plot a chart for Professor Gray. And we can see we're using type equals L, which indicates a line because I want to do different types to, to separate these out. Then draw a, a chart for Professor Green and then draw a chart for Professor Brown. And even while using our studio's back uh, and forth arrows here, it's not that easy for us to compare the, the three different charts. First of all, uh, they're on separate diagrams. But secondly, if you look closely, you will see that the y that the y axis is changing because of the different range of data. So it's very very difficult to compare them on three separate diagrams. And I'd like to be able to view these on a single diagram. Now my approach here is going to be I'm going to plot uh, one chart first. I'm going to do that for Professor Gray. And then using a new function called lines function, I'm going to add in Professor Green and Professor Brown's data in on top of this chart. So I'm going to draw the chart once and add the two extra pieces to it. So let's draw the chart for Professor Gray, first of all. So I'm going to use the plot function. And I'm going to uh, use grades, dollar sign, student, because I'm going to plot, uh, just like in my chart over here on the right hand side, I want my 12 students listed um, and, and listed across the x-axis. So grades student, and I'm going to plot grades dollar sign professor dot gray uh, against that, comma, move down to the next line. I want to give it a main heading equals, because I want a fully labeled diagram here, and I'm just going to call this comparison of grades. Comma after that, move down to the next line, uh, give the X and Y labels meaningful names instead of the variable names that we see in the uh, plot area on the right hand side. So the X lab is equal to student, there are 12 in each class. The Y lab or the Y label is equal to grades. These are going to be between 0 and 100%. And uh, I want to give it a type, uh, as I've done previously. So I'm going to do a type um, equal to L. So that's going to create a line for me, just like I did in line 9 above. So Professor Gray is going to have the solid uh, line. So let me go back here. So this is the uh, line on the chart that I'm expecting for Professor Gray. So type is equal to L. Note that that's not a 1, it's an L. And then I, what I want to do is, because the y-axis was changing all the time between the three charts, I want to indicate uh, a lower and upper limit for this chart. Now I could do, so that's y lim, y lim for the limit on the y. I'm going to use the combine operator to uh, put in the low and the high values. So I'm not going to go zero, I'm going to put in 30 and 100, that's the maximum grade. Okay, so this um, looks good. So what I'm doing is I'm using the plot function. I'm going to plot, replot, the uh, Professor Gray's grades uh, for each of the 12 students. My main heading on the chart is going to be comparison of grades. I've labeled my X and Y axes. The type is um, L for a line chart, for a line graph for this one. And I'm setting the upper and lower limits on this chart. So let me go ahead and run that. 
And we can see over on the right-hand side that we get our label diagram. So we've got our heading, we've got our X and Y axis that, we, that are meaningful to us. If I zoom in on this, we can see that we have a, a, the chart as we would expect. So this is the same as a single chart that we've already drawn other than we've got labels added to it. So now that I'm happy with my base chart, it's now time to add in the next two lines. So I'm going to add use the lines function for this. And the lines function allows me to um, add in the data for Professor Green and then for Professor Grant Brown. So lines, so as before, grades dollar sign students to get the x-axis and then grades dollar sign the data for Professor Green. And then I also want to give this a line type. So I'm going to move down to the next line here. So the line type here is not the type parameter. It's a LTY, short for line type. Uh, this is different in the lines function than it is in the pot function. And here I can indicate, I'm going to put in a dashed. So it's slightly different. Just watch out for that. Uh, in the uh, plot function, the type of line is indicated by the type parameter. In the lines function, the type is indicated by the LTY or line type parameter. So that's a, and then there's a choice of options in here. I'm going to choose dashed. So let me add in that second line. So run this. And you can see in the uh, plot area, let me zoom in on it for a better effect. We've now got our dashed line representing Professor Green's data. And then let's do the same then for using the lines function again to add in the third. So again, it's grades dollar sign student on the X axis. And on the Y axis, this time we want the grades for Professor Josh Brown, who's the third professor. Okay, and as before, I want to give it a, a line type, so LTY. This time, I'm going to I use a dotted line. Typo, small typo there, so D-O-T-T-E-D, -T -T -E a dotted line. So I'm going to run this. And we can see, let me zoom in on this in our studio for a better effect. We can see that now we have our three lines plotted on the same chart. Uh, and we can see that the data for the dotted and dashed lines for Professor Green and Professor Brown are fairly consistent throughout, but that Professor Gray's grades, uh, our student grades under Professor Gray, should I say, are uh, significantly lower. So this is a handy way for us to compare, in this case here, three lines. So while we've now plotted the chart, there is one thing missing from that chart, and that is a legend to tell me which of these three lines represents each of the three professors. So I'd like to be able to add that in, and I'm going to do that now. So close this down, and next bit is I'm going to add in a legend. Now the first thing I need for the legend is to for it to tell the um, uh, legend function, which I'm going to use, what the la legend labels are going to be. So I'm going to use um, a, a vector called labels here, and assign it uh, using the combine operator the three names. So I'm going to do, this takes a little while to type out, so prof gray, um, comma after the inverted commas, uh, second inverted commas, professor green, and finally, a uh, third set of inverted commas, uh, professor brown. Okay, so that label then, so when I run this piece of code, click on the run button on line 26. Okay, no error messages. So we've now created a label, labels vector with the three characters in it. So whatever we want the, uh, to appear in the legend, and clearly we would want this to match what is in the uh, data set. So we've got the three labels, and it's now time to uh, perform the legend function. So L-E-G-E-N-D. Open and close brackets. And we want to tell the legend function a, uh, quite a few things here. So we're going to need to add in uh, four, param uh, four or five parameters. We want to have to indicate where on the chart we want our legend to appear, what the labels are, the size of the legend box, uh, is it going to be inset from the edge, what's the shape of the legend symbols, and finally the line type. So let's first of all go and we look at our chart. We can see that there's room in the top right hand side here. So let's uh, just put in, in a text. Uh, inverted commas, top right, and comma after that. So that should position our legend in the top right-hand corner. And we next a uh, parameter is, so we've got to what are the legend labels. So that's the legend equal to, and the it was the vector labels I've created above on line 26 is the name we need to use here. So that then should 
uh, position and put the labels into the chart, into the legend for us. We now need to indicate a, a size, so the box size, so we use the CEX parameter for that. Uh, I'm going to use a size of 0 0.6. Uh, you can experiment with this once you've got the hang of all of this. And I'm going to inset it from the right edge equal to just a small inset, 0 0.01, comma again. And finally, uh, not finally, two more parameters to go. Uh, we normally in the legend put in the PCH for the shape of the uh, symbols that are going to appear on the lines. Now we have no symbols here, so instead of choosing a number, we're going to make this null so that no shape appears on the lines. You can experiment by putting in uh, uh, PCH numbers if you want and see the effect. And finally then, uh, a little bit awkwardly, I need to specify the line types for the three lines. So we want to use the LTY function here and assign that using the combine operator, simply one, two, and three. Okay, so that's the, um, um, hopefully just a, a revise on this, legend function, position top right, the labels in the function are called, I'm taken from the labels variable, which I create, vector which I created earlier. CEX indicates the size of the box. Inset is how far it's set in from the edge of the chart. Uh, we don't want any shapes to appear uh, uh, using the PCH uh, parameter, so we set that to null. And finally, the line types, I'm just going simply one, two, three, because I've got three lines on my chart. So let me go ahead and run that. And we can see in our chart, let me zoom in on it for uh, clarity. We can see in our chart now that we've got all our uh, uh, multiple lines drawn on the same chart, but we now have a meaningful legend here on the top right-hand corner of our chart uh, telling us which line represents which of the three professors. So that's how you plot multiple data sets on the same chart in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.